Shalom, let us say our praises due to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the whole for members of the elect. This is another lesson in regards to the uh, the Danes, all right, the tribe of Dan, all right, that was uh, brought, that basically um, during the medieval times, you know, Jake was in power. You know, they were known as the Anglo-Saxons. And then there was the Danes, all right? And the Danes and the Anglo-Saxons, they would always be at war with with, with each other, right? And um, I'm going to read this. The Danes law, all right? On that, this is over there in the UK or England. You know, Wales, you know, uh, London, that, you know, was, but, you know, but these are the actual maps. That's how they, you know, because you have Norway, um, when you go into that, like Norway, um, certain parts of, um, of that area right there, right? This is, you know, this is modern day England, right? England means angel, right? And, um, that's what it means. You know, and Anglo, which means uh, a Anglo like a son, and then Isaac, a son of Isaac, or right? Anglo Saxon, basically means sons of Isaac. You know, but um, if I could find it because the the Danes, see, you have Norway right there, Denmark. All right, which means Dan Denmark, right? Then the Holy Roman Empire. Then you have England, so they would be going back and forth. Then you had the Scots, and the uh, and the and of of Jake, right? Because we were in power during the medieval times. You Edomites were in, were like you guys were into captivity, all right? And uh, you know we had them in captivity, and that's why. Uh, a lot of the Danes they mixed with the with the Anglo's with 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 the with um the so-called like um like with the Jake over there during the, the medieval times, all right? Because that's why they were always going to war. If you watch uh, that series, the Vikings, I believe there's a new a new one, and then there's a next one about uh, England, um, the Edwards or something like that. Goes into that. A uh, very good uh, series to watch, you know, if you have the time. You know, so we have a, a vast history, and this is a good uh, site. Uh, Moore's of uh, his Moore's Moore's art uh, history. These are uh, some uh, historians, you know, that uh, they always upload a lot of our information, you know, that. Um, you know, like they don't really show out there, but now the internet, you know, the tr truth's coming out. All right, dub means black. All right, so black Gentiles, the dub genent, gente, the Gentile, black Gentile, right? Because a lot of them went off, cause after the fall of uh, Rome, all right, that was the prophecy when the Lord said, um, you know, that I'm gonna get it quick. And build. Alright, so this was the prophecy when the Lord was, you know, on the Mount of Olives. Alright, when he was oh, over 2,000 years ago, when he was on the scene. Alright, and he just, and he speak, uh, and, 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 the, and the disciple, basically Yahweh Shah, he spoke to his 12 disciples. And he said, and he had, and he sat upon the Mount of Mount of Olives. The dis, the disciples came unto him privately, privately, saying, "Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world?" And right now, we're seeing the end of you know this world. We're seeing what they want to do with this whole uh, CDC system, you know. Um, 
you go into these different stores or these establishments they have the qr code on your damn phone which is a, like a pain in the pain in the, the ass it's like you know and ultimately you know with that whole with the whole qr code on your phone it's gonna be embedded in your flesh you know like they're like the next step is to get you c-hipped all right c-h-i-p all right it's like you know um like that's what they're trying to do what shall be the sign of that coming and the end of the world all right so even you know um so it's like you know so like so the disciples they were looking for the signs but they didn't know that you know that uh you know that uh, like a lot of prophecies had to come to pass all right because you know because yahweh shai he's the book right he's the word so he's the one who who uh you know he's he, he's mentioned from genesis to revelation man you know you know like all these prophecies it's it's basic it's basically it's, it's like yahweh shai all right you know and he's and, and like and the prophet or, or the disciples you know like they were uh wrote down these things right and yahweh shai answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come my name saying i am christ and and shall deceive many you know so all these false past all these fast fa false prophets you know like uh yahweh ben yahweh you know all kind of different guy you know all kind of different uh people who want who uh like who like who want to be like a christ figure all right and shall deceive and, sh and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so it's not that time even though right now we're see we're seeing wars right there you know we see what's going on with ukraine russia Sud uh, like sudan you know there's all kind of different wars happening throughout the earth man you know which uh the u.s is behind you know and uh basically you, you see that russia they had a like a military parade i believe uh it was yesterday you know over there in russia you know so um you have the bear which is the russia and then you have the eagle you know which are you uh you um uh, you know like you like you elamites you know of the american empire all right who run this who run this world all right because they have uh they have over uh they have over a thousand different like military bases throughout the world you know they have these different like all the different embassies and stuff all right but the end is not yet for many shall rise for many shall uh rise up so it's like a for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake and shall, and and earthquakes in diverse places i'm just looking for this basic uh, yeah i'm just looking for this pre, uh this precept matthew 24 verse 15 when ye sh when therefore sh shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of the daniel the prophet stand in the holy place who who so readeth let him understand all right and basically th like that happened during the time of daniel you know that when we in the time of the babylon captivity when we fell all right and um you know and, and we went to captivity under these um uh, under the babylonians and then you had the um like you had the persian empire you know and then like we came back to israel and we rebuilt you know and then um you know the greco roman empire you know, they came and they destroyed the temple again all right and um then you had the whole um the edomite guy um um, the Edomite, um, on that Pontus, uh, on that pilot, and all these different Edomites who uh, who came over, who came overlords and called, uh, basically, called himself. Uh, he was uh, he, he he like he became king of the Ju like of Judea, which was the he was a, uh, on that Herod, 
or um Slaka. It was like it was Herod, you know, who became um like king of the Jews and he, and he tried to destroy the many of the firstborn, you know, because he he knew that the he knew that Yahweh Shai was coming. He knew that you know, if you read into the um read Matthew one, two, three, right? If you read the gospel, you know, it goes into that. And then basically, um basically um like um I'm I'm like the Lord, you know, he he uh he went on the cross, all right, then he came back, all right, and he he, he walked I believe over forty days and then he went back into the to the spirit spiritual world the spirit world all right and um basically 70 a.d right from 60 something a.d to like 70 a.d um like that's when um you know um they had the um the fall of granada all right because a lot of them like the um what do you call them um the sakari you know there were um like zealots or zealots, all right, who was fighting against Rome, all right. So this why I so saw us like, so it's like Yahweh Shai already wrote it down, cause he already forecasted it in the in the spirit, because he was a prophet and he already had this thing already written down, you know, and um, then let them which be in the mountain in the Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is in the house not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes, his clothes, and woe unto them that are give, give suck with. Woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Are right, be prepared, but um, pray ye. But pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. All right. But you know, but this is pretty much the, the precept that uh, basically 70 AD, a lot of our people went to um, like North Africa, you know, going back down basically um, to like Sudan, Kenya. Some of them went to like West Africa. All right. As well and establish um established communities and stuff like um like Carthage and all that all right so uh, we have a vast history and some of them went to europe right all right to uh italy so-called italy um sicily sardinia um you know and also uh england all right and um you know or the or and also like the iberian peninsula all right because you had um like basically uh you had um there was a lot of um Japhite who was there but a lot of them was driven out prior you know when you read about uh first maccabees one right like the edomites already drove out a lot of the uh Japhites and, and like a lot of them were sent to like to other islands you know like they had to flee all right because uh you know so ultimately when you uh when the roman empire fell you know like we inhabited a lot of land all right like throughout the world all right with the soul with the southern tribe you know but there's also the tribe of dan all right and um you know, so the tribe of Dan, Odin, right? Because this is what these, you know, because these guys, they were uh, basically like uh, pagan worshippers. They're doing all kinds of rites and rituals. And uh, it's the same people, you know, coming back in their stead. You know, and Jake is uh, bugged up. This is, uh, let me see. Says a uh, black, black man, a uh, black man, a mo, as a, as in the, as in the north. You know.
yeah you see this symbol it looks like you see the symbols like with the whole um has like the bluetooth symbol um i'm like this was like the line like this was like the type of alphabet what the danes or the vikings had you know and um you know it says uh i'm i'm told i'm told that king Har harold bluetooth lived in denmark between 910 to 4 uh 94 ad all right and he did all right and jake was in power and also if you watch that movie the series of vikings and if you do if you do your history all right a lot of the um the day they came to the new world first they went to uh greenland you know they went to uh, iceland they went to uh green uh, uh like uh, like also greenland newfoundland all right and um uh quebec right because there there was jake because the tribe was already there yeah the tribe of dan uh reuben um and all that and um so they so they were basically dwelling amongst them all right and living peaceably you know and basically uh eventually like we started you know because the uh basically like the kings of europe right which were jake we set up colonies when you read about um if you you know that uh what do you call it the, the word i'm sorry i forget the word um on uh, that like Magna Carta, all right. So like, you know, so Jay Z knows or whatever, right? Because, you know, because the Magna Carta was us who set up colonies, all right. You had um, certain German kings, all right. Because that's why you read about uh, Charlotte Sophia. You know, she goes back to, uh, I believe, um, the House of, uh, you know, Hanover. You know, and. Um, you know, and then basically, yeah, the French, you know, when you read about King Louis the Thirteenth and all that, you know, like these were Jake, you know, um, you know, King James, you know, or the, or the Stuart family. And then basically after the fall of the Stuart dynasty, you had the Hanover dynasty, right, who took because basically, um, you know, King James the first, he, he got beheaded, you know, and uh, basically the the Hanover and dynasty they took over so you read about uh you do a history about king charles the first and second the third that was all jake i mean you know if you watch that series with uh charles the third of um so like if you watch that series of uh charlotte sophia all right you know on like north carolina charlotte that's named after her canada there's a place called Fredericton, um, said is, is it Nova Scotia, all right? But it's in it's in uh, Canada, all right? It's a, a a city that's named after uh, you no know, King Charles the Third. No, it's like a a King jo uh, King George the Third. You know his son, all right? Um, you know he basically uh became uh yeah that city. His city is, that city is named after, you know, um, one of King George the Third's sons. You know, um, you know he got he, he like he basically did, like I guess they call him the Mad King, right? Like, just to show you. Uh, one second. See, because you see with this, like this is whitewashing or, or iconoclasm, all right? Because the the original um, black nobility or the nobility, all right, they were Jake and they know that, all right? There 
Because if you read about, if you, if you do your history, see, like this is Charlotte Sophia, right, which she's a black woman, all right, and I believe uh, her line, her father's line goes back to uh, uh, the Portuguese line, all right, a uh, Jake, you know, because Jake was in power, you know, like this is how he, he looked, you know, they call him the Mad King. You know, see, the mad, the most sacred Majesty King George the Third. So you know, so this is how he actually looked. All right. So Jake, uh, no, prior to the whole slave trade, and even during slave trade, Jake was still in power, was pulling strings, cause uh, you read about the you know the the trend on the slave trade throughout like West Africa. Going down to like South Africa, um, the Congo, that region, the uh, the Congo, um, you know Senegal and all that, you know, a lot of our, a lot of the uh, African kings, right? Which was you know, a lot of them were Israelites. They sold their like they basically after war after because they basically were fighting for land and power. And basically, uh, you know, if you're king, if you're uh, like a lot of our, a lot of different uh, of the tribes, they try to fight, you know, but they would end up going to captivity. And then Jake, you know, because they basically you had the, 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 the um, you know, the spat and the basically uh, Jake, they were like the navigators and, sh and shipbuilders. So they basically, um, because basically the Edomites came back to power. Read Revelation 20. You could get it. Because this thing is very vast. Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. All right. So that's why um, basically when Jake was came back to power, you know, that we had the power. All right, and these uh the Roman Empire they fell, all right, and then we Jake you know came back to power. We didn't read about Septimius Severus, um the five good emperors. You watch that series or that movie um uh, with Russell Crowe, like the Gladiator. All right, that that was us, that was fighting in those arenas and all that. He laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil. All right, the old serpent, you know, that from the garden was actually, uh, you know, you know, Satan, all right, which is the devil, all right, so, you know, like, which is, uh, you know, Satan's children, all right, which are you either, <laughs> which is the devil, and Satan unbound him a thousand years, so that, during the medieval time, you know, Jake was in power for over a thousand years, you know, throughout, um, basically, uh, the Europe, you know, and, uh, Africa and and Asia, right? Because we were uh, read about um, there's a lot of history because we were basically read about like uh, the Moro people, you know, because you had like a lot of the Japhites who was there. But Jake came and they spread seed. They did a lot of trading and networks, you know, through Philippines, throughout India, you know, so. Uh, we have a, a rich history, man. Yeah, and this is how... Uh, and this is like the alphabet of the um, of the Danes. All right. That was like their alphabet. And then we can see like this is... Uh, Oracle of the Illuminati, right? Which means enlightened one. That's what it means, right? Because I read about, uh, if you read Baruch 3, right? It says, uh, call to mind, you know, those, we could get it. Because everybody's like, oh, Illuminati, Illuminati. Like, where are the real Illuminati? Like, where are the real enlightened ones? Where are the real light bearers, right? But Jake, they got, a lot of them went into dark into the dark side. Baruch. 
Baruch. It's Baruch 3 verse 4. Or uh, verse 5. Is it Baruch 3? I think it's Baruch 4. It's like a... Baruch 4 verse um, 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light, therefore, that you might be illuminated. So we're being illuminated, knowing who we are. We didn't know who we were. We were just calling ourselves black, you know, or Native American, all right? or, um, you know, or Latino, all right? All these different bywords, instead of calling them, you know, like the children of God or Israel. Right, because all you know, black, you know, like blacks no color. All right, you call yourself black. That's a that's a neg like a negative cogitation. It's a negative. Uh, it's a negative vibe, you know. Um, like like you call yourself Latino, which is like Latino just like a language, like a Roman, like a Romance language or, or like Roman language. All right, like Native American. All right, like Amerigo, like um, you call yourself a just a na like a a native, you know, like American or whatever, like all the different bywords, man. Um, according to the master, the symbol, Harold, uh, Bailey, or yeah, H Harold Bailey, the Norse savior of Odin. All right, is uh, said to have worn a blue coat. It connected to the blue being and cloaks of a light, a Jewed high priest, like the Jewish Jewish head priest, wore blue robes, and this is what um, our people was doing, right? And um, you know, because a lot of them they started going into like the the magic, right, with the mystery and like um calling upon different deities right so they would have to do certain rites you know and um you know and they're basically if you watch that that uh there's a movie or um it shows you um uh, it shows you samson right and he was uh he showed you he had he was black man i guess they had him like having braids right but um you know but they show you that you know he's he's he they show you that he's a black man. Or if I could show you that, so it's a very good uh, Samson black man. So they know, man, these Amalekites, you know, like, you know, these people who run Hollywood, they, they already know. This is how we actually look. All right. And could they say um, the Danes, the tribe of Dan, let me get that. Try about then. One second. Cause yeah, see, like this is where uh, the tribe of Dan Dane live. Cause they had the Philistines, right? Um. Right, which are these uh these uh these Hamites, alright? Who was worshipping um Dagon and all that stuff. So um you know, so there's always war, right? And basically Samson, you know, uh you know, he, he like he uh he got the, he was 
the most I he was dealing with him. All right, and uh, you know because he defeated over a thousand, a thousand. Hold on. Thousand. Yeah, Cause Samson was like a very powerful thing. The Lord was dealing with Samson. Uh, and uh, he was a Danite. First fifteen. So we're gonna get that same power, man, like what Samson did. This is uh, uh, Judges 13, verse 14. And when he came to uh, Lehi, the Philistine shouted against him. And the spirit of the Lord came up mighty upon him, right? So the spirit, right? The spirit of the Heavenly Father, right? Because, you know, he's going against. You know basically uh, uh, like a host of of uh like a host of uh like philistines man but they you know but they you know but you know that but the heavenly father you know he he gave him that power man all right and that's why he was a nazarene all right he was a nazareth like he was a nazarene all right and um and so he wasn't able to uh to drink wine eat anything on the grape or vinegar you know but um he basically lost his power because he got uh, he was uh because he was enticed by uh you know a beautiful woman named Delilah. All right, and he then he lost his power. All right? And the spirit of the Lord came up mightily upon him and the and uh, says and the cords was that were upon his arms became blast that was burnt with fire. And and his bands uh, loosed from off his bands, and he found and he found a new jawbone of an an ass, but and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men thereof. And Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass heaped upon upon the heaps and uh, with the jaw of an ass have i slain a thousand men all right and that's what it is man all right and we're gonna get that same power man so even um some of us are gonna be as martyrs you know, right but a lot of uh, the elect you know you know if you know like the heavenly father is gonna protect them man you know you know so i said uh psalms 91 and 7 a thousand shall fall at thy side and a ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee right so even right now with this whole plague plagues this pestilence you know uh it, if they come with their host of armies and stuff you know like yahweh shy he's gonna lift up that standard man and that's why they show you these things in these movies like luke cage you know um all these uh on that black lightning all that stuff because they know all right and um I remember the philistines all right they were very uh when you read about like uh if you read about sam uh, if you read about king david and then uh uh but after king david died you had uh he was you know king solomon he made a treaty he made a treaty with the um uh, like with the men of Tyree, right? His name was Haram Abif, right? And uh, he built the temple, all right? And uh, he would collect wood, different precious resources. He would go over to the to the Americas, all right? I believe uh, I could find it, all right? Because, uh, you know, they were very much, uh, they were skilled navigators, all right? Like they were looking to the stars, you know and all that so uh, let's keep going um as a plato said the the head priest of avalanus wore the most beautiful 
Azor Azor robed, right? Even uh, over there in uh, the Azores, right? That's like a little island off the. Uh, it's it, it's like close to Portugal. There's like a many different islands in that region, and they call it the Azores, right? And that's where uh, a lot of the a lot of Jake was dwelling. We dwelt there. All right. Met it says uh many also wore a blue robe. She was a sky a sky clad. All right. Bailey noted that the Celts and Moros toted themselves in in blue paint. All right. So they probably like they paint themselves with probably like with blue dye or whatever they were doing. All right. And uh, the Celts, you know, that's a lot of them were dwelling, you know, with the Gauls, right? That's why they call it Portugal, right? A port of the Gauls, right? So, um, you know, because that's why when the whole, when, you know, when the whole Roman Empire was in power, you know, the pagan Roman Empire, you know, there was a lot of Jake who was uh, fighting, you know, and, uh, and basically, uh, the Roman Empire was having uh, a lot of trouble, a lot of problems, you know, against the, the, the Gauls and the Celts, all right? So they were mixing up. And uh, a purpose called Wa'id, which is probably came from Wadan, Wadin or Odin. Wood is also a pun on the wood. Or, or the word, right? So, um, Odin, right? So, uh, you know, he was like a godlike figure. Odin is called, in exchange, Athin or At, Atim or Ad or Atan, right? Um, this is, this expressively blue, this blue blooded, right? So, this whole, the original blue bloods is us. All right, and uh, that, that's why all the different gods and stuff, they ultimately go back to like to, to uh, uh, ultimately certain of them, it like it uh, like it goes back to Yahweh Shai, all right, because um, you know, but they're just like different narratives, you know, certain, you know, all these like uh, Hercules, uh, not just like not Hercules, like um, Zeus. You know, all the different uh, images, you know, that people are worshiping. Right. Um, the expressive blue blooded, the means of the blue skin. Right. I believe, you know, because that's why they show you that with the whole uh, that series um, Avatar, you know, they have them blue. Whatever, but that's us, right? That represents us. I believe originally symbolizes the idea of having the wisdom of the word, you know, so so that's Yahweh Shai. He's the word, the divine blue being. It says polishing in one's veins. The close one was to become a blue being. The bluers on uh blood of Ran and uh let me see. The Danites says uh Dan the pioneer of Israel right which is a snake all right we get that Genesis uh, 49 Genesis 49 and uh, 16 Dan shall judge his people and want as one of the tribes of Israel right because uh there there's still Danites out there Right, who came to the Americas? Some of them are in the Caribbean, mixed up, you know, South America, and a lot of them are in Africa too. All right, because um, there's a place called the Dan people. That's close to like, um, or like, like it's kind of close. It's like it's close to like uh, I'm like Sierra Leone. Or, or like or like like or the Ivory Coast. What's it called? Um, the Dan people. The Dan people. 
Yeah, this is an Ivory Coast, right? So, 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 yeah, so these are the Danites, the Mende, because even um, if you read about uh, or watch these different uh, books, you read these books, these different series, or right, you read about and watch it, these series about um, like Mansa Musa, you know, prior to Mansa Musa, there was a guy who was over, who was even, who was over Mansa Musa even before. And a lot of them, they came to the new world and established themselves, right? They came to uh, the Caribbean, you know, um, Central America, South America, and then basically throughout the, the Americas. And because they were uh, very affluent, they were very wealthy, right? So the Dan people of the Mande, all right? So this is like the Mandingo, all right? The ethical group from... Northwest Ivory Coast uh, and neighboring Liberia, there there are uh, approximately seven hundred thousand members of the group. Their largest settlement in 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 uh, is Maine, Ivory Coast, neighboring people, including the the Kharif, the Khalif, or the Kipli or Manu. They are originally known as the Jacob. No, they are they are officially known as the Jacob, like or Yakuba or Jacob are in the Ivory Coast, right? And Liberia, right? Because there's a lot of people that, even um, a lot of a lot of the Maroons, some of them like they went to the Americas. I mean, it's like, like like some of them they went um to um like some of them went to Nova Scotia, right? Because uh you had the, the you had the Spanish, right, who was uh fighting for who who was trying to keep that their power and then you had the uh like like then you had the Ang like like then basically like there was like the English uh the crown right that was in power right? and then basically jamaica they lost their power so so england england so right now like this is why we're speaking english right throughout that uh, in, in jamaica here but you know some of the maroons a lot of them went to nova scotia and they they uh they, and they populated and had many seed right but some of them they went back to africa as well right so um the, they speak Dan language, a south southwest Mandi language. The Dan are known for their arts, especially their mass rituals. Gi Gli, as a secret society, Gora, uh, Gun Dan or Leopard is a peacemaking society, not to be confused with the Bluta Leper Society of Nigeria. Right? So this is what they do. There, uh, it's a, there's a secret, right? So they pass these things down, you know. So this is the the Dan the Danites. Right, so, uh, so we're gonna know, you know, that when the Lord, when he, you know, when the Lord comes and, you know, then he's gonna beam up his elect. He's gonna let us know, like, okay. You know what tribes we are. We're gonna get Revelation seven, and then pretty much that's pretty much it from. But Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and adder in the path. All right, and like, like that's why they were uh, they were very uh, affluent man. Like they were basically very strong man. All right, and um, you you had those Anglo-Saxon kings, which was like uh, a lot of them were Jacobites. Or or uh, Judah, or whatever, Benjamin or whatever, like they're mixed up. But uh, basically, uh, the Danites they came, man. You know when you watch that series, the Vikings, man. A bike at the bider, the horses, the horses heel. It's like a, that the bider that it's a, the horses heel, so that his rider shall follow backward, right? And that's what it is, you know, because who's in power right now? Who's on the horse? Right, you it's like you Edomites, all right. You uh like you Edomite that's empowerment, 
and uh, basically like you're gonna fall man and I, I have waited for thy salvation oh lord so this is what we're waiting for man you know when you know that when Yahweh Shai comes you know we're gonna know everything in full scope right because this thing is like a it's like a a mirror it's like a it's like a looking glass like a, like a it's like a dirty mirror like and you're trying to open it or you're trying to like trying to clean it you know but you still can't you can't see the whole picture this is how this truth is right there's certain things that it's not out it's not out there and um you know certain things are going to be revealed you know like in that time dan Deuteronomy 33 verse 22 and dan shall dan he said dan is a lion whelp he shall leap from bashan right? all right so all right so dan all right you can see that they're very dark they're just like you know like the the southern tribe all right call out them they were the seafarers too all right as well all right and uh, you know, like and watch the series of vikings you know this is what they would do all right um dan are, are um always spoken as the gothic family as uh atta scandinavia behold um through those seeming more special those seem seeming more that specifically given to the sea that the old gothic tribes their said the like I said the repetition common ancient leader or deity of the goths or saxon or danes were one odin the danes also claimed as an ancestor leader known as a reward War ancient, it's like a known Irish as a renowned warrior named Dan. All right, Denmark. All right, that's why it is. That's why they call it Denmark. All right, you could uh, just just pause this. You could read this. All right, this is a very good. Uh, you could go on Instagram or uh, social media. Right, more of art history. They have a lot of good information. All right. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, this is. I said, did you know, the Moors, the Moors Potter, the Moors, Parajim. All right. The truth is stranger than fiction. Right, yeah, cause you see what they have. They have everybody. All these movies that that Hollywood makes, they have like all these uh, like the Vikings, you know, the the the, the like the Scots during the medieval time. They have them as white, you know, but they were us. They're be they wore beards, and they are very uh valiant. They are very strong, man. The the, the more, the more it were said. So the Moors were known as the Danes and Vikings they they that they uh enslaved all right so we also enslaved you know some of our own people all right and we also enslaved you edomites because you edomites was at the bottom they that they enslave extracted tribute from the europe peasants and surf surf farmers called the danes or blackmail the dane the, it, it says a tribute it's a tribute of law but of the black armies right so they were they like they were extorting people right they were getting extortion extortion money right because they were very they were very strong man hold on One second. Yeah, the Danes law.
Mm, this is where the where York, right? I think I come out of that guys. I come from my my family name it goes back to Yorkshire, right? All right, Yorkshire. Alright. Or York Sheriff, right? Or the sheriff. Right? That's like Shire. Yeah, see Yorkshire. Yeah, but there was like a, a, a like a like a tribute. Dane's Dane's La Tribute. Cause um uh, those other Anglo Saxon kings I'm like they were getting extorted, man. You know, they take their land, their certain resources, you know, and they would go throughout this region they come some of them came to the americas all right greenland because you already had the tribe that was over here to get that and then i'm on the close yeah this is this is it we had the edomites and you know it's our, our conky wives our concubines or whatever you know i'm gonna get um Get uh, that's one more, the one, one last scripture. Second Ezra is 13. The second Ezra is 40, verse 40. Yeah, second Ezra is 13, verse 40. And those are the ten tribes which were carried away captive. It's like a, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king, whom Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. And that's what it is. Because um, the, basically after when, the, after when, yeah, when he, after when, like when, um, Solomon, he died, you know, his kingdom was split, right? Because there was a prophet who came and he's basically, he, he, like, he, like he, uh, he forecasted that, you know, that, that, that your kingdom is going to be split. So that you had the southern tribe, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Then you had a northern kingdom. And um, basically there were many wars, right? And we read about the book of Kings and Chronicles. You know, that's all of our history. You know all the different battles and stuff and um then basically it got so the lord he got so fed up he he, he put he put um uh, the 10 tribes in the captivity man you know and um basically um after the syrian captivity when the syrian empire fell a lot of them they they came to the americas you know but they took them but they took this counsel among themselves that they should leave the multitude of the heathen and go further into another, into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Because basically after when our people was driven out, you had uh, these other, uh, other nations, you know, a lot of the Ethiopians, all kind of different uh, heathens who came on our land. So basically, like they went into another land, all right. So they came to the Americas. They took this counsel among themselves that they should lead them all to the heathen and go further into another country and never mankind dwelt, because they never been to the uh, this side of the world. The the the, um, the Philistines, all right. The tier, the people of Tyre, like they already came to the Americas and established, or they had trade routes and all that. All right, and um, you know, but they took this counsel among themselves that they should leave the mouth to the heathen, where never, and go further into a never into a further into another country where never mankind dwelt, that they might, that they might there keep their statues which they never kept in their own land, and they enter into the narrow passes narrow. And they entered into the narrow 
into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river, right? So, uh, you know, this is what it is, Euphrates River. So we always have to be looking at maps, you know. Um, that, that was always one of my thing when I was in school, man. I always like, um, I always liked geography. That was one of my favorite uh, subjects. You free these. Yeah, so they went through this through these narrow passages, then they came through like the Red Sea, whatever, and then they came back down. So they went and they basically went to uh throughout the South Africa, right? Because that whole um, is a very heavy tide, right? You know, but you know, but like, but yeah, I was shot. I mean, but the Heavenly Father, he, uh, he, 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 like, he made them to pass over, right? And some of them, they went to South America, and then uh, some of them went to um, Central America, then the Caribbean, and then the Americas, right? And they established themselves that they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land, and they enter into the near Euphrates, by narrow passage of the river, uh, for the Most High, then showed them showed signs for them, and held still this flood till the till they were passed out, or passed over. For through the for through that country there was a great way to go, night namely of a year and a half, and of the same region is called Asterif. All right, so Asterif. You know, uh, basically means new land, all right. And it took them a, it took them a year and a half. So they would probably, they would probably would have to stop, you know, and get certain food, you know, and then and, and like and then, um, like go back, you know, back on the sh onto onto the the boat or whatever, all right. And then they would come, all right. Cause that's when you read about um, King Solomon, you know. Yeah, uh, he already sent. You read about King David and King Solomon. Um, you, you, like you had the uh, people of Tyree, which was you uh, Edomites or Salakia. Salakia, brother, I'm tired. And, um, the Hamites, right? Who was uh, in power, uh, and they basically uh, like they would always like be going back and forth to the Americas, right? Because they had. Um, that whole technology, because they were able to look into the stars, you know, and um, that's it. So, yeah, with that, let us see all praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to hopeful members of the elect. Uh, see, this is like uh, one of these symbols, too, is like the dragon. Right, there was also, um, I know, uh, one of the symbols of the, um, if I could find it. okay, next time, but, um, basically there was like, a like one of the symbols of, of the, of the house of, um, of, of, of like, of Jake, like when they were in power was like this, if I could find it. Well, I probably won't be able to find it. I'm gonna just put this. Well, wow. Charles Sophia. A back woman, but Cut 
because her lineage goes right back to uh, Jake. That was in power for almost like 700 years. find it so okay if the spirit permits i will think but yeah with that let's see our praise do to you how about shim yawa shai bar shim kakwadash double also the great millstone peace and blessings to the hope and members of the elect um my name kanawak from gms toronto let's see our praise do to you how about shim yawa shai bar shim kakwadash